Welcome to the Nonprofit Show. We are so glad that you're starting your week with us. Today we have two guests, which is a special occurrence. We have Kyle Gregory and Austin Salisbury, both joining us from Give Back Nation. They're here to talk to us and really inform us because as I shared, this is a topic I know very little about, but they're going to talk to us about inside Google ad grants. So stay with us. Before we dive deep with these guys, uh, we want to remind you where they're coming from. Again, Give Back Nation, your giving and your fundraising hub. And we're going to learn more about both of them momentarily. Julia Patrick, we miss you today, but we're so glad that you built this platform for conversation. Julia is the CEO of the American Nonprofit Academy, and I'm Jarrett Ransom. You're a nonprofit nerd, CEO of the Raven Group, honored to be alongside each and every day for these high-level conversations. We wouldn't be able to do it if it weren't for the amazing support from our presenting sponsors. So a huge, huge shout out of gratitude to our friends over at Bloomering, American Nonprofit Academy, Fundraising Academy at National University, Nonprofit Thought Leader, Your Part-Time Controller, Staffing Boutique, Nonprofit Nerd, as well as Nonprofit Tech Talk. So please do us a favor, do yourself a favor, do these companies a favor, check them out. Uh, they're here, I like to remind you, their mission is actually your mission. So they're here to help you support and elevate uh, your mission and to do more good. Hey, if you've missed any of our episodes or you want to go back and listen to this one with Kyle and Austin, you can find it on Roku, YouTube, Vimeo, Amazon Fire TV, and like a good old ShamWow commercial. But wait, there's more. You can also listen to us on the nonprofit show. So wherever you stream your podcast, you can listen uh, to us. And again, just a few hours later uh, today, you will hear this episode with Kyle and Austin. So guys, thank you so much for uh, patiently waiting. And I want to reintroduce you again for our viewers and our listeners, Kyle Gregory, co-founder and CEO, and Austin Salisbury, ad grant specialist, both, both with Give Back Nation. So glad that you're here. And Kyle, if I could ask you to kick us off, share a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Give Back Nation. Yeah, first, thanks for having us. Um... Uh, but yeah, Give Back Nation, we are a national 501c3 nonprofit that serves about a thousand other nonprofits every year. We were founded in 2006. Um, and really today we've just become this this hub to uh, to help. Um, we uh, have pro bono calls that we provide really any organization. Um, and then over the years, we've developed enhanced support. So the Google Ad Grant, uh, our team started developing and, and supporting uh, management of that in 2011. Uh, so we've served a little bit over 5,400 organizations in that space. Um, and Austin is, is a direct part of that team, uh, which is based out of Chicago. Um, I'm based out of Orlando, Florida. And uh, But websites, uh, coaching, strategy, things like that, that we help organizations with. Um, and then we have direct connections with 80 plus partners that why reinvent the wheel? We do a lot of um, vetting and selecting of platforms and solutions that are out there. We try to hopefully walk organizations down the yellow brick road, so to speak, and and, and help them thrive, not just survive. Yeah. And we talk about the fundraising ecosystem a lot. Um, there's really a ton of things that can help you fundraise better, but there's this ecosystem that if you have it running the right way, uh, that, that becomes much easier. And so uh, three main pillars we always talk about the first one being branding and storytelling. So the website, collateral, things like that, make make that up. Um, removing barriers to give, so technology can help. Yeah. The third pillar, uh, uh, donor management, donor, donor data gathering, which fuels engagement, which we'll focus on today with the ad grant. So um, so so that's kind of what Give Back Nation is up to. And again, Austin, if you want to introduce introduce yourself, but he's up he's up uh, in Chicago helping helping to manage um, the ad grants. Yeah, please do, Austin. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Give Back Nation. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I guess kind of where it all started was back in my college days. I was heavily immersed in kind of the, you know, in the field and the nonprofit space. Um, got involved in a lot of uh, charity events, um, was philanthropy uh, chairman of my fraternity, and kind of that kind of launched my uh, career of what it is now into the, the nonprofit realm. Um, 
full circle. I, I did start more so, you know, in actual events itself, project uh, management and the, in, you know, in the grounds, handling and overseeing, volunteering. Uh, but then, you know, at the end of the day, I saw a real kind of need and uh, a kind of where everything's going to in the digital space, so to speak, which is my introduction to Google Ads, among a bunch of other Google affiliated products, um, CRMs and whatnot. Um, so just figured why not take a, a more uh, a holistic approach. You're going to hear me mention ho um, holistic uh, more than once um, during our, our discussion today and, you know, get kind of the end grounds and, and the boots and the trenches experience, but also the digital experience as well. I love that. And, and from what, you know, you provide through Give Back Nation, this is such an, a critical piece of the ecosystem, um, as well as the holistic approach. I love that word as well, Austin. So I'm ready for it. Uh, you drop it as often as you want. Well, I'd like to start out. And again, you know, what I had shared earlier in today's episode is I know that Google ad grants are available to nonprofits and that's about all I know. <laughs> right. So I feel like it's such this, um, bolder that many of us, you know, would like to be educated on, like to know how to do it, but to be honest, it's just a little too overwhelming. So Kyle, could you tell us what do do Google what do Google ad grants do? And if that's not a mouthful, I don't know what is, but tell us a little bit about the Google ad grants and what they can do for nonprofits. Yeah. I mean, in a nutshell, it's providing um, free ads that gets organizations in front of more eyeballs. Um, so it's, it's engagement. It's getting in front of, of new uh, individuals and, and organizations that, that maybe will support their cause in some way. So in 2003, uh, the Google ad grant, program was developed. Um, since then, over 20 years or so now, uh, over $9 million in free ads have been given out. Um, over 115,000 organizations have been supported uh, in over 50 countries. So so the end game is you have Google ads, which you're typing into Google and you type in, you know, kids cancer charity. Uh, you may see a couple of the first posts that have that AD next to it. Yes. If you type in anything, football, NFL, whatever the case may be. And so anytime you see that, that's an ad. Now, if you look at it, there's no cost to that. That's called an impression. Um, and that's that's free advertising, if you will. And they may not click on that link, but they see your brand. And maybe the 10th time they see it, they actually do something. But if they do click on it, there's a cost. And it could be 50 cents. It could be $50. It's all on how valuable that keyword is um, that they're typing in. It could be one word, could be several words. Um, so that's where it all, that's where it all started. And, and over the years, uh, Google has provided a certain amount of money per month. Uh, currently it's $10,000. I know it's gone up to what, $40,000, uh, Austin. It was up, it was up there at some point, or maybe there's still some grandfathered in organizations. Correct. Yes. Yeah. A $40,000 was the year kind of their pro plan of it in the past, there's still yeah. some organizations grandfathered, but, you know, current events like, uh, for example, um, you know, the whole Ukraine situation, um, nonprofits that do kind of help affect and impact and improve situations related to current events. Google has been known to allocate additional ad spend um, to those organizations. Wow. In 20 so, years, Kyle, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been around, but but yeah, just continuing on that. So it's an opportunity that majority of organizations can leverage um and and uh and we'll talk talk about that here shortly but um but it's just the management of it you know you kind of get into it you get approved and the management of it how you maximize the ten thousand because it's not just they're not giving you a check for ten thousand dollars it's right. they want to see successes they want to see conversions they want to know that you know what you're doing so that they're going to provide you this amount of money versus some other organization that they could be helping so to speak but uh but yeah so hopefully that helps a little bit no, that that does help to like, you know, set the baseline. What are they? How do we how do we use them? And we're going to talk more about that. And um, Austin, as, as I like to call myself the nonprofit nerd, I'm counting on you to just nerd out with me, you know, as as we get to that point. So let's start off, Austin. What types of nonprofits are eligible? Is it any and all of them? Is it, you know, a certain criteria? Can you talk to us about eligibility? 
Yeah, the, the first thing I would say is um, if, if you are, are someone that is looking into, um, you know, pursuing the Google Ad Grant, start with a, a quick Google search. Um, Google has a number of guides, FAQs and resources, and they will give you a little bit of insight and direction into, OK, am I uh, eligible? Am I, you know, credible based off of my status to be able to um, gain the Google Ad Grant? Uh, the primary organization that we do work with are 501c3 registered nonprofit organizations. Um, that's the, a status that's directly affiliated with the U.S. But again, eligibility, it, it, it's it's eligible international. Um, obviously, where that's going to differentiate with the application itself is you're going to submit different paperwork with um, who they use to kind of vet a nonprofit, TechSoup, and then wow. Google's um, ad grant team as well, too. Yeah. So for a lot of grants, I know, uh, like just in general, you know, a family foundation, corporate foundation, something like that, mm -hmm. they really look for that eligibility of a three year history. Is that the same with Google ad grants or is it once you have your IRS determination letter, mm -hmm. it's open? Once you have the letter, it's open. They're obviously going to look at some other requirements too. They're going to look at your website, which um, I know we'll dive more so into the application itself um, here mm -hmm. shortly, but two portions of it. The second portion, they're going to look a lot more at your website, uh, a lot more in depth and, and directly. The first portion, it is one of the things through the forms that you submit, you will provide uh, your website itself. But yeah, virtually as long as you have a compliant website, um, compliant with their website policy, which is another uh, FAQ that you can do a Google search on, as well as your proper uh, documentation. Um, the process itself is seamless. Where it gets trickier is the actual management of the, the grant, the kind of the after um, acquiring it. I'm laughing just a little because it's like, if you don't know how to do Google ad grants, Google it, right? <laughs> like where else <laughs> to go but Google to find a little bit more of those FAQs. So let's talk about that application, Kyle. Uh, what does it what does it entail? Is it, again, I talk about grants when it comes to like family foundations and corporations, and I know that it's not a one size fit all, but I'm curious what the Google ad grant application does look like. Yeah, I'll kind of start the conversation and also I'll let you uh, kind of finish it, but um, but it's really easy to find out what the process is. If you go to, if you Google, Google for nonprofits, um, it'll get you to that website. And so it's a two-step process of approval. First, you want to get approved for the Google for Nonprofits account. Yeah. Um, TechSoup gets involved and you know there's a process that it goes through. And then there's a second approval for the actual, uh, the ad grant. So okay. Austin, if you wanna expound upon that a little bit. Yeah, um, when you're starting out the process, uh, to Kyle's point, two parts of it. The first part is for Google for Nonprofits. There's an actuality, a number of uh, Google affiliated resources and products that they'll provide to nonprofit organizations. This could be all found on the product page once you do get a Google for Nonprofits account set up for your organization. Um, so lots of other quality things to check into on there. But you'll see at the very, very top the uh, what's called the Ad Grant Activation Request, which is just a, a simple form submission. They'll put some additional info on there, mostly related related to the scope of your nonprofit, you know, the field, the impact, the work you do, as well as your website. Um, and that completes the process. The trickiest aspect of the application, I do believe, falls um, in the Google for Nonprofits portion when TechSoup is verifying your organization. Um, they're going to be looking for a very particular document particularly the one that you've received in uh, from in the mail from the IRS um, or Department of Treasury. Um, it's best when you're submitting this portion to take a picture of the physical copy, make sure you have a clear, notable background um, and, and submit that that form instead of one that's you know scanned or copied because um, they'll be very careful. They're, they're very cognitive of you know one ad grant or nonprofit organization. It says at the end of the day, you know, a fantastic offering from Google. So, you know, they just want to be sure that the people that are utilizing it, the nonprofit organizations that it's going towards to support their efforts and initiatives, they're very careful in their vetting process. Austin, yeah, what is that? That, oh. I, I was going to ask, what does the timeline look like? So once we, you know, submit for this application, mm -hmm. you know, I know, I know I get a lot of questions about how long does it take to start a nonprofit? So we're not talking about that, that rabbit hole, but really, you mm -hmm. know, about the application. Do you have a, a ballpark of, of what that length is, is right now? 
Yeah, it's it's going to vary. If you, if you have a TechSoup validation token already, it's going to take you only a couple of days to um, get approved for a day to get approved for Google for Nonprofit and a day after that, if all goes well, to get approved for the Akron itself. If you're starting the, the process anew, um, it can take anywhere from a couple of days to two weeks. And I'd say the, the longest duration is if uh, someone set it up in the past, whether that's, you know, another managing company, another marketing company, or a team member that's no longer affiliated with an organization and you need to recover an account, that's where you're going to see the longest duration, which can take two plus weeks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, you were going to add on to that. I was curious to hear. Uh, that's he, he hit it. So reactivation. Okay. Um, yeah, just uh, it's amazing how many organizations, I mean, we, you know, you've, uh, when you support thousands of organizations over 10 plus years, uh, you see and hear a lot, um, but it's amazing how they go, well, we think we might have activated this at one point. And sure enough, they did. And it was someone who's not with the organization anymore. And you just go through that process. But being that, you know, in 2018, the team was one of 10 organizations that that helped Google create Google certification. Um, so we've been Google certified and, you know, you know since the beginning. And um, so we have a direct connect, the team does with Google so that it kind of helps in that process. Um, of course, Austin knows more about that. But uh, But yeah, so just wanted to touch on that. Yeah, no, that's fascinating to me. Again, you know, I, I owned up that Google Ad Grants is not something I'm very versed in. I know that many of my clients across the nation have definitely uh, taken advantage of this opportunity. Um, so talk to us about, you know, Kyle, if you could share, what does it take to set up and then to manage this Google Ad Grant? Yeah, so again, I'll kind of start the convo and let Austin dive a little deeper. Um, so, so in the beginning, you get approved, and then it's uh, looking at a few things as you start to set up the actual grants or the ads in the back end of Google. And um, first and foremost, there's there's things that you want to set up first. And, and again, you touched Austin touched on it. The website is a big part of this. Mm -hmm. If you have a very simple website that isn't built out you're, you're going to be held back immensely. And the end game is you have $10,000 available, but you don't start off there. You start off with a couple hundred dollars that Google kind of gives you to start testing and creating campaigns and ad groups. So you don't just start off with that amount of money. You have to earn it. And it can take three, six, nine months, depending on the size of the organization, how much traffic you're already getting. Um, so the website is key. Uh, we built out, again, give back websites uh, to not just help organizations in that space, but a lot of organizations just need some coaching and, and you know, what to add to their site. They may have a landing page on their site that talks about five different things. Break that stuff out, make five additional pages, add more content to your site, create more relevant keywords that you can leverage with the ad grant. Yeah. Um, in our, when we manage sites, it's, it's unlimited. And what that means is there's a lot of management resources that are out there that they zero in on a topic or, or an objective. Really, in the beginning, you want to throw as much mud on the wall as possible. So you want to use every page on your site. Okay. Um, you want to just get stuff out there. You're trying to get as many clicks as possible. You're trying to expedite the ad spend uh, and get as much as you can in the beginning before you start converting to conversions, uh, your bidding strategy. Um, so we talk about you know, a campaign is really the, the top theme. You know, you can look at a, a, a menu of a website, the main menu, each one of those different tabs could essentially be a campaign. And then look at your drop downs, and those are essentially ad groups that zero in a little bit further. Um, and then you have the actual ads um, that are hopefully leveraging relevant keywords that people might type in. Um, and each one of those keywords, of course, has a, has a cost. Um, and, and, and Austin, if you want to expound upon that, you've got you know, the opportunity when you're going after clicks versus conversions. And of course the ad spend goes up on the conversion side, but, um, but yeah, if you want to kind of get into the, into the weeds a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, holistic. Uh, I, I know, again, that's, that's one of my favorite words to use. It's an approach that I recommend that all accounts take, whether, you know, you're trying to manage internally or working with a managing company. Um, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll, managing companies, um, you know, there's consultants, there's third party freelancers, they all do different things in the account. Um, some of them do take a, a honed approach and focus, you know, I only want to build ads for our donation page, or I only want to build ads for our homepage or our programs page. And in long term, 100%, uh, that should be where you hope your traffic segues to and hope majority of your ads been to being utilized for. But to start out, it, you know, I kind of like to use the um, 
the draft um, athlete analogy. You know, athletes that are getting drafted, you know, at young ages of 18 into, you know, pro sports, they're, they're not going to be superstars right when they're, you know, just drafted and entering. It's going to take time for them to be molded to become those superstars. The same can be said for ag grant accounts. If you're just starting out, it is very, very, very hard to use. And that's why I always say up to 10K ad spend, because at the end of the day, not all nonprofits will. Um, and especially to SAR, we fought at times, you know, if you consider the average amount of ad spend, it's, it's anywhere from $400 to $800 on a monthly basis. That's not a significant um, amount of money in comparison to the full 10K you're allotted. So take a holistic approach to start. Um, think through the lens of users and the user experience. They're going to look at more than one page anyway. So even if you're driving them to a page that might not be, you know, super prominent from a, a driving standpoint, um, at the very least, it gets people onto your website, helps your account utilize more of the 10K you're allotted. And, and Google is going to be cognizant of the fact that you are using more ad spend and your account is performing well. So over time, you'll start to see all those metrics start to go up. And then long term, that's when you're going to want to switch your account and focus less holistic and more so okay, now that we have our traffic foundation in place, now that we're leveraging up to the full 10K ad spend, how can we get it to where we want it to go instead? And then more importantly, how can we get users to convert on the pages that we're driving them to? And awesome. This, this sounds like a full-time job. What can we expect <laughs> by way of time management for managing mm -hmm. the ad grants? And I'm sure it's like, you know, lower lowest case highest case and there's something in between but mm -hmm. what is on average like what should we expect yeah great question um the amount of time you put into account is truly how well it's going to do from a per performance standpoint, um, a lot of hours do go into it. So one of the, the trickiest fits I see with the ad grant and especially newer nonprofit organizations is, you know, the member that's starting it out, you know, might wear many different hats, you know, they might have a little bit of ties in, you know, event planning, a little bit of project management, a little bit of digital advertising. And it's, it's hard to do all that hard to put in that kind of necessary time to especially get your ad grant account up and running and started. Um, so hours um, can be kind of the short-term estimate. Um, you could spend as little as four hours if you're utilizing all of Google's tools, kind of their Otter Builder tools, the Keyword Planner. But if you have a large website, which large websites are very good fits for the ad grants, it could take 10 plus hours or even longer on a regular basis. A lot of time does go into once you've built the content, optimizing the content, um, improving it based off what you're seeing. It might be, you know, cleaning up keywords, which if you have hundreds of keywords in there, it's going to require you to clean up that hundred, add additional hundred maybe you aren't using just yet, add negative keywords that you want to kind of prevent your ads from appearing in front of. But, you know, that's just keyword optimization. You got to optimize the ads too. Uh, maybe your ads are being, you know, scored a, a lower strength um, on, on your account. And Google will note ways that you can improve upon that, adding more headlines, um, adding more descriptions, or even adding some of the kind of the, the more obscure things in Google Ad Grant accounts, such as um, image extensions and things like that to get them scored higher. All of the time adds up. I am officially overwhelmed. <laughs> which, <laughs> yeah, I was going to makes total sense. I was gonna... <laughs> give back nation. So, um, Kyle, we don't have too much time, but I love I love that give back nation is here as a solution because not everybody. And this is a compliment. Austin is as nerdy as Austin to be able to, like, know how to do all of this. Um, so, Kyle. Tell us a little bit, and and again, you know, as as we uh, kind of wrap up uh, today's conversation, what does it look like to work with you? Yeah, so um, so first and foremost, we we provide pro bono brainstorming calls to any organization. So if any organization just wants to ask questions or they have an ad grant and they're trying to maximize it, um, we provide that. So go to givebacknation.com and you can click on schedule a call and, and, uh, take off. But, um, but yeah, just, so our support, um, again, there's organizations that will charge a thousand dollars and up a month and, and really just dive into this. And, and we, we do things at cost, you know, we developed give back nation in 2006 to really just be a, a, a service that doesn't break the bank. And we try to just help. So we provide, um, really everything that's needed, uh, starting at $500 a month um, to maximize the ad grant. And and Austin mentioned four to $800 is the average ad spend for a self-managed account. Mm -hmm. um, once you start getting a Google certification, that number doubles and triples pretty easily. Um, and then as you get coached on things you can do with the website and opportunities, 
you know, then you start getting to that, you know, five, six, seven, seven thousand dollars a month range. Um, but uh, but yeah, so we we do everything at cost at Give Back Nation. We try to, you know, we have you know um, third party support that that helps fund Give Back Nation. I have a for profit marketing firm that helps fund it. So we're just trying to help, you know, and 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 it's a lot of organizations over a year, year and a half of, of getting some support, they start getting to the point where they can self-manage and they can they kind of start figuring some things out. So the end game is just trying to learn more about it. Um, we're happy to, you know, schedule those calls and just try to, um, you know, educate folks on on the impact of what it can do for an organization. And, and also, if you quantify it down, if you get if you're using a thousand dollars of the ad spend, that's about five hundred to thousand clicks every month. Okay. At a minimum, really, because um, that's, you know, if that's 50 cents a, a click and that's on the lower end. Um, so just think of 500 to 1,000 new eyeballs to your site. And just like Austin was talking about, even though you're not focused on let's get more donations, you're just trying to saturate. Someone gets to your site in some way, they're going to start clicking around. They're going to see something else. And hopefully that gives them enough uh, to to want to learn more and maybe they get involved in something simple in the beginning but as you cultivate and 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 uh continue to touch them they might become a donor someday so so it's it's an opportunity to get in front of more eyeballs yep. you know i i was talking to a client of mine and, and one of their uh staff members you know he had mentioned that he was a marketing major and he goes but this was well before social media right so there's a lot of changes that have taken place i'm curious austin who in the agency or the organization would you be working with? Is this a marketing communications person? Is it a development person? Is it one of the same? I mean, who is that person? I can imagine there's, you know, a, a contract person or a liaison, if you will, with the organization as well as Give Back Nation. Typically, who is that person? Yeah, I, I, I like to always think of it as a, a collaborative opportunity. Um, obviously, where, where Kyle uh, can come in is, is you know, your website does have an effect on your ad grant account. So you can obviously make adjustments on site, whether that be, you know, fine tuning, you know, your conversion tracking or, you know, adding a keyword as plain text onto a page. So, um, I, I, you know, look a little bit with, you know, some of the more, uh, you know, kind of website technical oriented things. Um, marketing is, yes, a very common one too. Um, Google Ads has a paid offering as well. And I know a PPC um, is a very common terminology associated with marketing. You can use it with social ads. You can use it with Google ads, paid ads. So there's a lot of similarities there, but yeah, a lot of collaboration. I even find, you know, connecting with nonprofits, you know, there's a couple of models, one, you know, digital behind the scenes where we'll do everything for you to, you know, take all this hours that is needed to maximize your ad account account and, and require very little work on your end. But some nonprofits prefer to connect with us on a regular basis. And I find that those meetings can be helpful and that's, they know their content, you know, they know what audiences that they want to reach and also what they got going on in their initiatives um, and campaigns. So uh, collaboration um, is something that's great and something that truly helps ad grant accounts. I love it. And for those of you watching, you see the image is, is two women giving each other a high five. So that that to me speaks of collaboration as well. Well, both of you, Kyle and Austin, thank you so very much. Um, I came in overwhelmed. I'm leaving overwhelmed. But I do know that the solution is Give Back Nation. So again, uh, for any of you having similar feelings, you know, as you heard Kyle say, pro bono calls, give them a call. Uh, Kyle, if you would tell us where, where we can contact you, how we can contact you and get on your calendar. Yeah, givebacknation.com or um, adgrantmanager.com. That's the focus site. Uh, there's a lot of information there, a lot of facts, a lot of success stories. El you can check your eligibility. Um, so adgrantmanager.com or givebacknation.com. And then my direct is Kyle at givebacknation.com. Austin is Austin at givebacknation.com. So not, not too hard there. But um, but yeah, happy to you know answer questions and and uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to help our nonprofit that serves other nonprofits. Very generous. Thank you so much, both of you. Again, for those of you watching or listening, Kyle Gregory, co-founder and CEO of Give Back Nation, as well as Austin Salisbury, ad grant specialist, Give Back Nation. 
having both of you on has been such a pleasure, you know, really learning and, and diving deeper into this is so needed. I can only imagine the amount of people that are going to find today's conversation helpful and then hopefully reach out to both of you. So thank you both for being on. I'm just so, so very appreciative. I love having these conversations. Uh, Julia Patrick, thank you for creating the platform to do such. I'm Jarrett Ransom, your nonprofit nerd, CEO of The Raven Group. And again, a shout out to our amazing presenting sponsors that allow us to have guests like Kyle and Austin join us today. So thank you to Bloomering, American Nonprofit Academy, your part-time controller, Nonprofit Thought Leader, Fundraising Academy at National University, Staffing Boutique, Nonprofit Nerd, as well as Nonprofit Tech Talk. So very happy to have their support. Allow us again in these conversations. Hey, if you uh, missed any of today's episode or you want to go back and re-listen to it, you absolutely can. And you can also share it in just a couple of hours. So guys, thank you again. And thank you to Give Back Nation, your entire team for um, being a nonprofit to serve other nonprofits. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you guys both. And thanks for all of you that have joined us live um, or watch the recording as we remind you um, and ourselves, as well as our guests each and every day, as we conclude today's episode, we want to remind you to please stay well so you can continue to do well. Thanks guys.